tall, yeah. In the club, got them bottles on replay. Trying to break a record like a DJ. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy TDK, and I'm bye, bye. Good morning to my one and only team, Hashtag Trill Team. What's poppin'? Hopefully you guys are having a good morning just as much as I am as you see it. Right away the first play, make it back jukes. Right away coming down this pistol offense, this hashtag fast break offense. We do get the ball first. We are in the military stadium. Stadium, I mean, or the deluxe stadium. I think that's what it's called. It's the deluxe stadium, and then we have the military jerseys on as my boy. Jamal Charles going through the legs, getting his 2K on and whatnot. You know what I'm talking about? He talking about he better than Killer Cam. What I shout to my boy Stax Montana. But he said he better than Cam and whatnot. You know, going through the legs. So we do get into the end zone. And in this game, man, y'all going to see me acting the fool. In this game, man, y'all going to see me acting the fool. It's just what I do. Is this man, he does end up putting, another, putting us the ball. Just keep it sim style. Can't be mad at him, but just keep watching. Some people can, they act like they keep it sim style. As you see me throwing a ball down the field to who better? Who better? My boy, Devin Hester, a.k.a. Primetime. Primetime Shway. Military uniform on Shway. We end up getting a huge game. So right away, we're up 14-0 on this man. I'm like, cool. This might be an easy game. It's probably going to be an easy little W. It, it probably don't have to work that hard. Right here on the second and ten as he's dropping back. He's looking, he's looking, and he's skimming the feet. And he just takes a cool little easy little run. Gets four yards at it, at, uh, out of it. Runs the screen pass. Does nothing. And then goes on the fourth down. Now, I ain't going to lie. You're down 14 points. It's in the fourth quarter. Either way, go brush sweat box is real. Day and night, this fool about that Jabroni life. We're on the fourth down. He converted. Hey, it is what it is, but I'm going to make you pay for it later. Hopefully, you know what I mean? That's just what I do. On his third and eighth, he does end up making the conversion. On his first and ten, he's rolling out to the left, and he ends up getting this pass, which I don't even know how that even worked. On the second and second, gets he ends up losing one yard. On a third and three, he just throws the ball out to the flat. Smart decision. Jumps into the end zone. I'm like, cool. All right, you know. I, I didn't see that style jumping into the end zone. I figured he just like he was like, well, uh, I'm close to these defenders. I don't want to take the chance of getting a fumble. Let me just jump into this end zone. So it, it's not an issue right now. You know, I didn't see the style as we headed to our two minute uh, warning in the second quarter. Just continue to let this hashtag fast break offense do what we do best. I couldn't make the late stupid pitch. And then right here, I didn't keep the ball. And then on this third and 11, I end up making the first down. They did give me the forward progress, which was legit. So coming up on this first and 10, I hold on to the ball. I give it to my boy, Shady McCoy. And we end up getting, I think, about five yards out of it. And then we get stopped. Right away, I started noticing my boy, RG3, was getting tired. So right here on this third and eight, I end up playmaking my players up the field. And then I just keep the ball and run with it. I wanted to make the pass so bad. That's why it took me forever to just finally run with it. But then I noticed, I was like, you know what? Just run with the ball ring. You're not going to be able to get nothing we end up getting um about nine and a half yards right here as you see i'm running a little wildcat as you can see i'm running a little wildcat does that mean the possible wildcat will be coming to the hashtag fast break offense does that mean i got some running backs in the works right now that will be running my hashtag fast break offense out of the wildcat exclusively i don't know Christmas is right around the corner. You never know. And even beyond Christmas, you never know. But we got a few little Wildcat, um, few little wildcat um, plays going on and whatnot. And uh, by the way, no users shouted my bad though. This dude, I, I had to put that in there. My boy Tyron Matthew, he ended up um, getting a beautiful interception and then putting a spin move on him right away. It was too Nice. So now we're up 17 and nothing on us, man. I'm like, cool. Everything's going lovely. Everything goes sweet. I ain't got to worry about no inconsistencies right now. And we're still doing a little bit of wildcat. You know, I'm trying to get used to doing it. I figured, you know what? Here it goes. And then I'm trying to make the tackle and watch what this man does. Oh! Okay. 
You know what I'm saying? I figured because I was winning, I could run a few little wildcats here and there. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be an issue. I was like, you know what? I, I have a few plays where I can kind of just kind of lab it up a little bit, see how they work for me. But then I start seeing BS like that. You got my man jumping in the end zone after EA wouldn't let me make the pitch for whatever reason. I don't know. I can't call it. Nonetheless, I don't have time to worry about it because we out here making passes, throwing at this dude's users. And, of course, he don't have no users. My boy Devin Hester is back in the end zone for the second time, putting his arms up. Yo know, say doing the D-boy stance and because you thought you was nice, knowing damn well you ain't nice. I go for the two-point conversion. Zero F's given. And then he chucks the ball down the field. He overthrows his receiver. Coming up on a second and ten, he's just looking, he's looking, and then he ends up uh overthrowing that Michael Vick. Now, I see that in a way that's kinda why I don't want to get him. Michael Vick, he good, but uh, I, I don't know. I, it's kind of like that with all the quarterbacks. Coming up on the second and ten, he's dropping back. He's looking, he's looking. He ends up running for it. He ends up getting a maybe like four or five yards. On his third and six, he's looking. He runs out to the left, and then he ends up sliding, playing very smart. On his first and ten, dropping back. We were right there to get the sack, but somehow, so way, Michael Vick escapes. On his first and ten, he's looking. We end up stopping him short. Of him just leaving the line of scrimmage in general. It's so right here on the second uh, eight. We end up stopping him again. Third and six coming up. I miss the tackle. But it don't matter because we end up getting that beautiful fumble. But it is man 15. Things happen in this game. As you're going to see on the second and seven. My boy, he ends up spinning up the field. We got the first down on his first and ten. Watch this BS. Are you kidding me? I don't even understand how my blockers don't hold on to their blocks, man. How? When's the last time? Hey, say chill team. When was the last time blocking was actually good in this game? Don't worry, I'll wait. Still waiting. I couldn't even tell you the last time blocking was actually good in this game. Every time I watch E3 for now on, if these fools talk about they fixed the blocking, bruh, I'm about to say where they at, though. I don't believe nothing. As he ends up getting into the end zone, going for the two-point conversion, and he ends up getting that, he's already back in the game. You have got to be kidding me. And then my boy drops the ball. And then, the, and in the way, I'm kind of nervous to run the balls. I don't want my running backs to fumble and stuff like that right here. Check this out. Watch this. And by the way, no, dudes, it's Shawnee. What are you doing? What are you doing? As we end up not even doing nothing with him. I had to hit them with the no users. On that 4th and 11th, we do end up converting. And you know what time it is. Coming out in that victory formation. And uh, my buddy, kiss my ass. Getting all that help. Inconsistencies is the only reason why this man got back into the game. Come on, shit. You're killing me, Smalls. Nonetheless, we do get out of this game with three points. I'm not complaining. Not complaining at all. Michael Vick, take your head back to Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, we all lose as a collective whole. We lose in real life. We lose it in the video game. It's just the way it is. Either way it goes, I'm still a Buccaneers fan. But before I get up out of here, you know I got to send that stamp of approval. Letting this man know you and EA both have a seat. EA for making an inconsistent game. You for being thirsty for wins. You ain't got no pancake mix. Y'all know how I do. I ain't got no home training. Y'all know I ain't right. It's been real. It's been true. It's your boy TDK. And I'm out.